So, welcome back to another episode of Do It Prove It. Today, we're gonna do more of a lazy man style fishing. We're just gonna bait it up, throw it out. Whenever we get a bite, we're just gonna reel it in. So, today's gonna be a really, really special day for Do It Prove It. We actually got a hundred thousand views on one of my video so to honor that i'm gonna do a catch and cook so we're actually gonna make like a fish burger i'm just gonna do something you know just to honor this moment do it prove it wouldn't even exist without you guys so i want to give a big fat thank you to all my viewers all my subscribers and you know all my supporters either way i just want to say thank you guys very much for being a part of do it prove it and as you can see it's gonna be a beautiful morning beautiful sunrise at least from what I can see so I'm just gonna sit you guys down and let you guys look at that and I'm gonna fish hopefully I get something nice we can cook him up and put together a nice fish burger so again Thank you for being a part of Do It Prove It. And if you haven't subscribed to Do It Prove It as yet, just feel free to subscribe. You know, you don't have to. And we're just gonna fish. Then we're gonna cook that fish up. Hopefully, we get a spot. So I'll see you guys when I'm at the spot. And as promised, I'm gonna show you guys a beautiful sunrise. So, yeah. Whoa! We actually caught us a nice yellow tail! Woo! So this is for the 100k video. We're actually gonna cook this guy up, make some nice fish burger. So yeah, thank you guys for being a part of Do It Prove It. So here's the fish. We're actually gonna fillet him. I'm not gonna do the whole fish, but I am gonna take the rest home. So I'm just gonna fillet this whole fish up you guys won't see me do the entire fish but I'm gonna fillet the whole fish and we're gonna cook him up and make some burger call me weird but I actually love the taste of yellowtail skin so I'm gonna keep the skin on I'm just gonna scale it off and we are gonna try our best so the fish is all scaled we're actually gonna fillet this guy but I'm not gonna do like show you guys that I'm doing the entire fish so I'm gonna take a, a nice chunk out of it you can see Beautiful meat. And that's one piece. So I got two nice, beautiful fillet. We're gonna take the pin bones out in a while because I don't want to cut it on the stone like that but we're gonna take the pin bones out and we're gonna fry this up so I'm just gonna rinse it off in some salt water so yeah that's some nice chunk of fish 
So we're gonna fry these up. Well, not all of them, but we're gonna fry at least one up. And I'll catch you guys on the grill, I guess. So yeah. We're gonna have to get some bush the rest of fish on. So we still have the pin bones in. We're actually gonna get those out now. So we got the first set of pin bones out of this one. So we're just gonna portion this guy. I mean enough to fit inside our bun. Our buns. So here I have a bag. It actually has a bit of seasoning, some flour, and a bit of corn or cornmeal. So we're just gonna put our fish inside. And we're gonna work the magic. Here's all the goodies. This is the lettuce. We got a bit of mixed vegetables. We got us some cheese and practically, basically, basically all the stuff that you can put inside of a, a sandwich, we actually have. So we got some garlic, cucumber, tomatoes, and of course, we got an onion. We also have the cheese, a bit of thyme, and this is also closely related to the thyme, but this is more like of a thick leaf thyme. At least that's what I know it as. So we're gonna do a nice cook with that yellow tail and we're gonna see how it goes. So we're gonna add a bit of vegetable oil. We're just gonna, we're gonna be generous. Okay, so that's gonna get hot. So we might like it. We're not gonna do much of these, but we're gonna do at least two. Set it here. Oh, I need me a cutting board. Okay, not a big one, but we're gonna use it. Ooh, garlic. We're gonna use this onion. We're not gonna use the entire onion. So, we're just gonna do like some onion rings. I actually like onion, so I'm gonna do a little bit, probably half of this onion. Okay, so fry these onion rings. Ooh. Let's let this cook nice and slow. We'll have us some thyme. We're gonna put a bit of thyme. I actually forgot my fork. We're gonna actually have to use like a stick to do the turning and all of that stuff. So the onions are frying and we gotta make us something to turn the fish. So this is gonna be my little, my little fork. Because I forget the actual fork. 
and I think I I have to get some more cutting board or bush this is to put our finish onions and fish on so we're just gonna set that right here so I think these are just about finished them to burn badly so we're just gonna take them out man a fork would have been really nice it's a new plan I'm gonna use the knife instead and here comes the fish we're gonna go face down Man, I need a bigger pot. We actually got one more. We're gonna try and fit it in. Yep. And before I actually forgot, I wanna say, Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. My mom, your mom, and everyone who is viewing this mom. And if you're a mom and you're watching this video, happy Mother's Day to you. Mm, they're nice, they're ready. We're gonna flip them on the other side and you're gonna see, they're gonna like curl up. That is because of the skin. But that skin gives it a nice, a nice flavor, so I don't mind. And fish is a very, very easy thing to cook. It doesn't need like a lot of time in the pot. But you see what I'm telling you? It's already cooked. So we're just gonna do the other side. Smells good! If only you can smell it. It's like so nice. So I have a tomato. I'm gonna slice that. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of lime. My fish. Now that it's cooking, so we're gonna do a bit of a lime or lemon whichever you want to call it and yeah so i actually have two types of bun i have whole wheat and i have regular or some people might say plain and we're gonna do i don't know which one we're gonna do i think i'm gonna do the whole wheat and then after i'm gonna do the regular but you guys are not gonna see me like put it all together i'm just gonna do the whole wheat and that's gonna be just about it so i think these are i think these are finished so i'm gonna get them out yep definitely finished so we're gonna get these guys out again i don't have a fork so i'm just gonna try a little something and it worked so these are cooked all the way through Nice. This is a big chunk. We're gonna use the we're gonna use the whole wheat just to see what it would be like. I think I'm gonna have to toast one side at a time. No That's one slice. We're going to do the other slice. Get it all boiling. And meanwhile, that is cooking. 
I'm gonna grab the cheese. So we're gonna do two cheese. You know, like a sandwich. <laughs> I get it. It's a burger. So we're gonna put probably a cheese on. I think. What did I get? Or should we put a lettuce on? Then the cheese. And then so on and so on. You know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. So I put the cheese on. Lettuce. It's all washed and everything, so we're just gonna put it on. We don't wanna we don't wanna overdo it. We're gonna save this for the other side. Nice. Now now the fun part. We're actually gonna put a chunk of fish on this. Nice. I wanna get to my onion rings. So now we're gonna put some onion rings on. And everything is just starting to look beautiful. So I'm gonna save this for later, save the rest for later. I think this is just about done. So we're gonna turn it off, let it sit. Let it sit right there. I don't think everything is gonna hold in this because I have like so much stuff for it. We're gonna stack it. Oh, we lost it. We're gonna stack it. Stack it high. So, as one fish, a few slices of tomato. Then, still, I haven't put this guy this is called uh, cucumber for those of you who don't know I'm just gonna give it like a little a little slice and again these are all washed I don't want too much skin on it so we're gonna put that right there and we're gonna take one, two, maybe three pieces. As you can see, it's already overload. Set this to the side. It's probably, probably not the best idea. And to top it off, like to hold everything together, we're gonna add a next slice of cheese just to hold everything together nice and fine and I want to put a probably a bit of lettuce on this side let's squeeze a bit of lime on that I'm finished with this knife and we're gonna take this and just stack it on top I'm gonna get it very quick really tasty I'm gonna clear all of this so there you have it my fish burger we're actually gonna try it see how it goes it's super crispy the buns is super crispy and we're just gonna munch into it and I'm gonna tell you what it's like so I have my fish burger my yellowtail fish burger I'm gonna tell you how good it tastes hopefully it tastes good I just know it's gonna taste really good you can see it oh my gosh so again thank you for being a part of do it prove it I'm gonna tell you what it's like to eat a fish burger well that I mean The moisture is just dripping from the fish. Oh boy! This is really good.
So yeah, this is a yellowtail fish burger. It is just dripping everything. All the all all the moisture is just dripping from it. I'm gonna try and eat this as quick as possible. Mmm. Mmm. It's just amazing. Like one word to describe this burger. Well, not one word, two words. You can see it's all dripping. All the moisture is just dripping from it. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna enjoy my burger. And I just wanna thank all of you guys for being a part of Do It Prove It. You guys made this channel what it is. If it wasn't for you guys, Do It Prove It won't even exist. So I wanna thank all of you guys for being a part of Do It Prove It. And I really wish you can, you can be here, you know, to share this experience with me. I got my rod out. I think there's a fish on it, but it's actually stuck on the rock. So we're just gonna enjoy the burger. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.